Next, we have Inside the Vault, the art and design of Borderlands 2. This is the full art book, 160 pages. This is embossed, hardcover, pretty, from 2012. So, hop on your TV to check this bad boy out. And I also have the slideshow updated, uploaded on the channel, too. Yeah. Why would you do a book review if you already have the slideshow? Well, I'm an equal opportunist. <laughs> so, there's your table of contents. Characters. Do I still play Borderlands 2? Damn right. <laughs> Yeah, see, I hate these books. <laughs> I mean, I like the little ones, but I don't know. Who do I run with the most in Borderlands 2? Pretty much, I don't know, everybody. Give or take. It depends. I still wish they would have done it where... we had uh, a choice in building a subclass. That would have been fun. Like you have all these vault hunters with multiple abilities and they don't let you build your own vault hunter out of that. To me, that's kind of whack. This came with the Deluxe Vault Hunters Edition for the game. A fucking alien or will in her motor cart. <laughs> of course, that guy had turned into Motor Mama. And I remember when Motor Mama came out, I was like, oh, it's just Black Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Sir Hammerlock, my man. Uh, have I played Borderlands 3? Mm, yeah, but I'm stuck on a level, so I haven't touched it since then. Sucks, but I oh don't well. Angel. I kind of wish they would release a giant edition of this shit where it has every... All three games concept artworks included. I would love to review that. Those are bounties. Because, <laughs> I mean, you have all that DLC that dropped, too. Yeah, they didn't even bother to do an art book on that. Doll weapons. Jacobs. Who do I run with weapons? Mostly a Norfleet. Or the Hive. Yeah. Right, I don't know, it all depends on what I got equipped. Because I have, I farm and find so much random shit. But I do like Malawan the most, next to Bandit or Doll. Vladov's cool. Torque weapons are just funny as hell. I still remember when they had um, multiple elements to them. Where they all had everything had E Tech in the first game. I miss that so so much. Legendary weapons. All right, let me see. I should be some stop. There you go. Perfect. So that's normal mode stats for you. Shields. Come on. Grenades. It's my favorite grenade in that game. I think Kiss of Death and um, 
Ah, sticky homing meteor shower. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Bandits. I definitely run with the technical sometimes. But I like the other one more. Goliath, that motherfucker's irritating. <laughs> uh, I wish we could have flown the buzzard. That would have been really nice. Make it an open world game. Just fly the buzzard from point to point. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Oh, wow. <sighs> and of course you have quotes from everybody that helped bring the game to life as well. Who's my favorite beast to fight? Varkids. Yeah, they're total assholes, but they're so much fun. Loaders are alright, but I don't really care for them. Do I like this art book? Yeah, it's a cool book. It really is. Do I want to own it? Oh, wait, I do own it. Oh, no. Yeah. Got Bunker. Will I keep this in my room? No, it's gonna go back in the box and go back to storage, unfortunately, because I don't really need to keep it in my room. Could there have been more? Oh, look at that, Starkiller base. Could there have been more? Yeah, there really could have been. But, you know, them's the breaks. Beggars can't be choosers. But yeah, I think if they re really if they release a deluxe edition that has all three games, DLCs, um, the Headhunter packs, all that shit from all everything, just yeah, that would make a beautiful fucking art book to go through. What was my favorite part of this art book? when I first saw it in the PDF. Definitely the um, weapons, I guess. But yeah, I, the one thing I like is rough drafts. Those are always fun. Because you get to see how it started and then it's finished by that. And of course, some of this shit got repurposed for future stuff, so that's fun too. Good old sanctuary. That's awesome. What is my favorite area to fuck around in? Um, I'm gonna go with... Where do I usually go? Wildlife Exploitation Preserve... And every boss just about. But yeah, always the preserve because those loot midgets crack me up. It's a shame Opportunity didn't get explored more. That really pissed me off. It had so much promise, but oh well. It's a beautiful aerial view of it. <clears throat> That's really cool. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about pre-sequel too. That game was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we have behind the scenes. Angel. Come on, focus. There you go. You know, these smaller books are a pain in my ass. But they do work. Oh, come on. Stop. Thank you. Yeah, of course it's much longer. 
They are almost done. So if you don't like gaming, you don't like Borderlands, you don't like Xbox, you don't like Gearbox, for whatever fucking reason there could be. Um, yeah, that's sitting in the book for you. But if you did enjoy this when it came out, if you were die hard about it like I am still, yeah, you'll have fun. So. Yeah. Ah, the world map. Beautiful. And you saw that in the Deluxe Vault Hunters Edition I, did, I covered already. And then there's the whole team. It's from 2012. Oh, that's I wonder if any of them are still alive. Well, I don't know. Somebody might have died in that time frame. And there's the original crew. You know, fucking focus. Thank you. And we're done. Focus. Jesus Christ is fucking. So I will be back with another. Stay tuned.